week in ladies, the tide appeared to continue to change, as for a second week in a row, the gold was not worn by a Japanese or Russian skater. Hyun Lee of Korea skated a clean, determined and dramatic program and moving from third after the short onto the top of the podium to take the title. However, in men, Russia did own two of the three podium positions. Young Daniel Samsonov fought his way into third with qualities not often seen for such a young man. Korea continued its very successful Junior Grand Prix season with Si Young Lee skating a strong program and capturing the silver. And Andrei Mozilev of Russia skated solid performances, winning both the short and free to take home the gold. In ice dance, Russia also claimed two of the three medals, but the battle for gold was ever so close. Winning silver, Maria Kazakova and Georgi Rivia of Georgia won the free dance with a special performance missed taking top spot by just 33 one-hundredths of a point. Elizaveta Kudaberdieva and Andrei Filatov of Russia also skated beautifully to hang on to the gold. Week four on the Junior Grand Prix takes us to Chelyabinsk, Russia, about two and a half hour flight southeast of Moscow and with a population of just over one million. So what can we expect on the ice this week? Russian skaters will want to produce here at home, and in ladies, we will see week one champion Kamila Valieva of Russia, who can earn her spot to the Junior Grand Prix final with either a silver or gold finish. But she will have stiff competition from her teammate, Zenya Sinasuna of Russia, who was fourth at the last year's Junior World Championships, and Japanese skater Nana Araki, a Junior Grand Prix medalist from 2017. In men, Peter Gumenek of Russia, last year's Junior Grand Prix final silver medalist, will be starting his season here at home. While Ilya Kovler of Canada, medalist from last season, might also be one to look out for. Anything can happen. Really, it's wide open. One has to assume the favorite for dance would be week one champions Elizaveta Shanieva and David Narajny. And for pairs, last year's Junior Grand Prix finalists, Zinya Akinteva and Valery Kosov. But there's a lot that can happen. Hello everyone, welcome to Chelyabinsk and the Tractor Arena. This event was sold out three months ago with 7,500 seats and the organization has been extraordinary. We have some great skating coming your way, so buckle up for a wild ride and it all starts right now. Welcome everyone to Chelyabinsk, Russia. Beautiful weather we've had for the last couple of days. Such friendly and kind support from the local community, great volunteers, and all the students from the university here helping out. Fall day, leaves starting to turn and fall to the ground. Look at the beautiful church. And there it is, the outside of this great facility. Beautiful branding. The ISU Junior Grand Prix of figure skating. The technical controller. Welcome is live inside. Igor I'm your host Ted Bravo, Barton. We're thrilled ISU. that you'll join us from viewers viewership Technology all around the world here the in Chile. Mr. Igor Pair Bish. short program coming up ISU. in just a few moments. Assistant technical specialist. The assistant technical specialist, Ms. And for Yang once, Ding. we're getting ISU. a live audience. Should be pretty full tonight for the men's short program. More this afternoon here for the pairs. The following competitors may now take the ice for their warm up. From China, Moton Lu, Tanze Wang. From Canada, Patricia Andrew, Zachary Daleman. From Russia, and here's a look at the judging panel for the Parachute Program. Well, the age qualifications for the pair event in the Junior Grand Prix is for 
the lady to not have reached 19, age of 19 prior to July 1st, and age of 21 for the man, July 1st preceding that competitive series or season, both in para skating and ice dance. A little older in both those disciplines than in single skating. You have to be at least 13 years of age in July, by July 1st in order to be eligible to compete in the Junior Grand Prix. It's the youngest you can have. And for the seniors, it's 15 years of age. Well, these young bodies are developing and a lot of these elements are big and pounding on the body and you have to have enough development to reduce potential for injury. That's why they have those age restrictions. Make sure that you're old enough or growing enough, mature enough, strong enough to be able to handle some of these elements. Especially, especially in para skating when the gentleman throws the lady across the ice 15, 20 feet, two and a half, three feet in the air sometimes. And then landing on just a few centimeters of steel. There's a look at the starting order of the short program. as technology begins to enter into the world of sport to a higher degree, the measurement of speed and height and distance and speed of rotation will slowly, <laughs> just a fall there, handling it extremely well. As I was saying, the technology creeps in, the speed and height, the jumps and throws and speed of rotation, all that type of data will slowly become available for the public uh, consumption and it's not here yet that's for sure and exactly how that will get done there's a variety of different ways of doing it it's being done in other sports such as hockey and uh, a number of other sports where chip technology and camera technology is allowing for those types of measurements it's not here yet for sure the Japanese television does do some of that it's good it's not 100 percent accurate but it's getting better all the time. It will be very interesting to, to learn exactly how fast these skaters are going into and out of an element and how high they are in the air. And just a reminder for today's schedule, of course, the Paris Short Program on the ice right now, it's 16-15 uh, here in Chalyabinsk. And men's short program tonight at 1900 hours. Then tomorrow's schedule, the ladies short program will go at 1015. The Paris free program at 1450 local time here. And the men's free program will go tomorrow night at 1700 hours. And then on Saturday, the free dance goes at 1045 in the morning and then at 1,400 hours in the afternoon, the ladies' free program. Don't miss that. That'll be a barn burner. That'll be a great competition. Then the medal ceremonies later that evening at 1840. And the road to Torino is getting shorter after Chelyabinsk, Russia. We'll move on to Gdansk, Poland, September 19 to 21. Zagreb, Croatia, September 26 to 28. Enya, Italy, October 3rd to 5th for both the Junior and Senior Grand Prix that final. Uh, sorry, that will finish our Junior Grand Prix series. Then Ladies Torino, Italy, December 5th to 8th for the Grand Prix Final. In this warm up. Well, three, three teams on the ice for their warm up. And there's the skating order for Group 1. Разминка завершена. 
Просим спортсменов покинуть лед. Ladies and gentlemen, your warm-up has ended. Please leave the ice. На лед приглашаются. Ladies and gentlemen, representing China, Moton Du, Tanze Wang. Moton 15, Tanze 19. Both born in Harbin. It's their second junior Grand Prix season. They're coached by Hong Bo Zhao, great Olympic champion in China. 39.96, their personal best in the short program, scoring that last season on the junior Grand Prix. They're skating to New York, New York. Motong Du, Tanze Wan, China. While they had a few challenges in this program, the one thing that I noticed particularly is they skated quite far apart. Now, that's generally when especially with the junior teams as they're learning to just have the confidence to get a little closer and do elements beside each other. Um, and they're just not there yet. They're quite wide on uh, a number of the elements. But that'll come in time with confidence. And here's a double axle. As you can see how far apart they are. Watch her. Yeah, she actually was all the way around on top of the foot, just slipped off the front of the blade. Here's the twist. It's a level two. 
Whoa. So they would not have got the catch or the split. And here's the throw triple flip. Hangs onto that. And then group five step lift. Watch. Legs are a little bit forward. He doesn't keep the turns going. Almost stopped now and he's having to push. You want to have that flow turning, uh, moving down the ice so you can just glide through those Mohawks. And he unfortunately had lost all the momentum on the toe picks. And here's a look at the uh, solo spins at the end of the program. Of course, quite far apart as well. That's what I was meaning when mentioning about the a bit too far apart on the individual elements. But just a young team starting out, so lots of mileage yet to come. And certainly with the coaches that they've got there and the history in para skating, uh, no question that this team as a team as, or as individuals will be much better next time out. And, this is for special. Let's take a look. Short program scores. 39.12. Patricia Andrew, Zachary Daleman. Well, Patricia and Zachary, first junior Grand Prix season, she's 14, he is 19. They're coached and choreographed by Allison Perkis. He's the brother of Gabrielle Daleman, former Canadian national senior ladies champion. They're skating to Lovely by Billy Ellish.
Patricia Andrew, Zachary Daleman. Well, you can see at the end, Patricia go, okay, not too bad. And that's true because the warm up was a tough one for Patricia. She went down a couple times and maybe lost some confidence, but came back and fought really well in the program and got that double axle done. That's great. As they get off the ice, and the, there's Allison Perkins at the end to welcome them. So I thought, good fight by Patricia. Let's take a look at some of the elements. Here's a triple twist. It's in at a level one. No split. There's steps in there, but in level. Watch the double axle. Patricia gets this done, stands up. There we go. Get that free leg back. So good for her. Here's the group five axle lift. In as an axle. Look like a step, but there's the change of position. Grab the blade and the hip. One arm. That's seeing that at level three. And a couple elements that had minus GUEs, the rest were just base were a little bit up there. Look, she had that triple toe loop throw pretty good, but just allowed herself to collapse. Not enough confidence yet how to stand up on that. Here's the death spiral, back inside death spiral. This is a level two. Nice position by Zachary. And look at the shoelace here. The, the pant, it's actually not a shoelace, the holding the pants down, the strap came undone. And it's always concerning when you see that as a spectator or as a referee, what do I do? Do I call this? Is it dangerous? They had finished their lifts. They had finished the difficult elements. So, um, you know, not a major concern there. Oh, okay, she goes, okay, not too bad, not too bad. I don't know what camera to look at. I think it's that one. Yeah. <laughs> Who's leading? Me. You are? Yeah. Or... No, it's me. Well, no, I can't decide playing? who's bleeding. Somebody <laughs> got sure. cut somewhere. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, on the back. Do you have a Kleenex? Well, there's so many blade grabs and yeah. change of holds and this things that can happen me. during a performance. Okay, let's take a look. Short program scores from Patricia and Zachary from Canada. Have a short program score of 43.45. First so far, which brings two teams out. Keep for a little bit more. There's a book. First two teams score. Next to skate, representing Russia, Ksenia Ahantiva. Valery Kolesov. Well, fourth junior Grand Prix season for Zenia and Valery. She's 16, he is 18. 66.01, their personal best are coached by Ludmila, Nikolai, and Vasily Delikov. And they're skating the short program to Instellar. Soundtrack by Hans Zimmer.
Ксения Ахантьева, Валерий Колесов. Well, what was so great about that program was not that they stayed it clean, but they how the quality in which they delivered their elements are all in a high GOE scoring range. They're great elements, you know, top levels, but also the quality earns, the GOE that is, earns many extra points. Let's take a look at some of those elements. You're gonna see their triple twist right off the top at level three. Arms down to the side, nice catch. Here's the throw, triple lutz. Right on top, look at her ride that edge. So much speed and flow on the way out, the double axles. Nice timing and unison. Here's the group five reverse up, the most difficult of them all in a level four with a plus 0 0.90. Good speed and flow, look at his turns. He just keeps it moving down the ice. Here's a look at the dismount. So important for the boy to skate smoothly through those turns. And there's a back inside death spiral level four with a nice healthy plus. GOE for the quality. And the pair skating this year is an upgrade from the last few seasons. They've all been good, don't get me wrong, but this is particularly stronger this season. More mileage, more experience in all these teams. Should see a pretty good score here. Short program to score. The score season's best, 67.62 for Zinia. First, overall, in the world's top crowd tells you that. Great job. А мы приглашаем на лед следующих участников. Начинаем разминку. The following competitors may now take the ice for their warm-up. From the United States of America, Anastasia Well, here's a look at the standings. Just three teams have skated, but there's a look at the standings so far. You can see a good 24-point difference between first and second. Experience and quality. From Russia, Stanislava Vislavokova. And the stands start to fill up now. Good size audience here tonight for the pairs short program, and then the men's short program will follow that tonight. It should be a good sized crowd. Some great skating. автомобиля ВАЗ-2115, номер В-876-00174, подойти к своему автомобилю. Well, just a reminder, as always, you can follow the competitions from the live stream on the ISU Junior Grand Prix YouTube channel, so don't forget to subscribe. We really want to get as many subscribers, subscribers as possible. Therefore, we can notify you when we go live and also when new videos are uploaded. So hit that notification bell, and those notifications will keep you posted on all the action in the Junior Grand Prix as we travel the globe. Three more weeks after Chelabinx. We move on, of course, to Poland, Czech Republic. Oh, sorry, um, Croatia, and then on to Italy.
Well, just as a note, there's other competitions happening around the world this weekend coming up. Uh, ACI Autumn Classic International in Oakville, Ontario. And you'll find Yuzero Hanyu Rika Kihara uh, competing there, plus Evgenia Medvedeva. She'll be there. And Lombardi Trophy in Finland as well. So you can probably do a search and find their streams. Make sure you keep ours on as well, though. And you see how the senior season will start. Those are senior B competitions. Here's a look at the start order for Group 2. And just a reminder as we move on to Gdansk next weekend, the competition starts to get really tight because enough points will be earned for some skaters to earn their way to the Junior Grand Prix Final in Torino. There's one possibility here in the ladies to earn a spot. We'll be checking some of the other categories as well and monitor that as we'll deliver some of the standings next week while we're in Grand, uh, while we're in Cadence. Ladies and gentlemen, there is one minute left in this warm up. And just a great thank you to all the officials that travel uh, to all around the world. Volunteers who've dedicated much of their life to learning and being tested to be able to judge and be a technical specialist. These international competitions take a week away from their family or from work to do that. We thank them very much for all the dedication and passion for the sport that they've given over the years. Разминка завершена. Просим спортсменов покинуть лед. Ladies and gentlemen, your warm-up has ended. Please leave the ice. На лед приглашаются. Ladies and gentlemen, representing the United States of America, Anastasia Smirnova, Daniel Sinitsa. Well, first junior Grand Prix season for Anastasia, 15, Danilo, 19. They're both born in Ukraine, and they represent the United States. Trudy, Trudy Otmans is the coach, and they're skating their short program here in their first junior Grand Prix to Kiss a Fire by Hugh Laurie.
can't resist you. What good is there in trying? What good is there in denial? You're all that I desire. Since first I kissed you, my heart was yours completely. If I'm a slave, then it's a slave I want to be. Don't pity me. Don't pity me. Give me your lips, the lips you only let me borrow. Love me tonight and let the devil take tomorrow. I know that I must have your kiss, although it dooms me, consumes me. The kiss of fire. Анастасия Смирнова, Даниил Синица, The United States of America. Well, you saw the big smile on Anastasia's face right at the end of the program, feeling good about what they have done here. The first Junior Grand Prix season. A new experience and coming to this beautiful building with an audience maybe a little bit more nerve-wracking than normal but certainly handled that beautifully here this afternoon let's take a look some of the elements here's the triple twist level two there's a split and she touches shoulders on the way down and here's a look at the Back inside Death Bar, watch how deep he, right there, look how deep that edge is, just pulls it right around the corner, has got good centrifugal force, keeps that back outside Death Bar going for two and a half revolutions, that's in at a level three. There's the throw double flip, it says it was planned for a triple toe throw, but I think they just downgraded that to a double flip for this competition, there's the toe group five lift. Nice position, grabs the blade, nice one arm, nice and straight, locked, elbow, yeah, nicely down. That's a level two, but a plus GOE. This spin, unison, and this spin was excellent. And not easy to do. They kept that unison through most of that spin very nicely. It was a level three comp change combination spin. And right here, she looks up and goes, okay, that was good. I like that. Yeah, that was fun. Nice job. Hi, Michael. <laughs> this goal was pleased. Anastasia 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 well, first Junior Grand Prix season for Diana, 15, Ilya, 18. She was born in Kazan, he in Moscow, first Junior Grand Prix season. And they're skating short program here to Crack of Doom by Tiger Lilies. Oh! 
Диана Мухамедзянова, Илья Миронов, Россия. Well, what a great job by this team. Right on top of their skates in this program. Some nice quality elements. You see a pretty good score here coming up, I think. Let's take a look at some of the elements. Here's a triple twist, level three. Hands go down to the side by him. Nice catch right on the hips. She touches maybe a bit, not too badly. It's a level three twist, so that's great. Here's the throw triple flip. How nice was this? Right on top. Rides that edge, flows out right into a nice presentation. Watch this group five re reverse lift. It's so difficult to do because she's going in blind. There's the locked elbows, change of position coming up. It's going back, just riding back where she grabs the blade. You see her hand on the blade, his hand let go. He's with a one hand and then the dismount. That is a group five, difficult lift, level four, the plus point eight zero GOE. Here's the double axles. Yeah, nicely done. A little too far apart, but that's okay. That'll come in time. A little bit more confidence. Skate a little closer together into those and right into their end pose. Great job. Всем привет, мама, папа, Ирина, бабушка. Мама, папа. Дима, Рома, бабушка. Рома, привет. Надя. I can tell who has the personality in that team. They both. Well, you can tell so much about the relationship that the team has by the city and kiss and cry. Great job. Let's take a look. Short program scores. For Deanna and Ilya. 63.04. Good score. And that puts them currently into second place. Crowd's happy. Let's look at your top five teams so far. Next to skate, representing Russia, Stanislava Vislabokova, Alexei Brutman. First Junior Grand Prix season for Stanislava, 15, Alexei 17. They're coached by former Olympic champion, 1984, Oleg Vasiliev. And they're skating the short program here to Trichach Polka by Johann Strauss.
Станислава Вислабукова, Алексей Брюханов, Россия. Well, what a nice pair team, boy. Kind of funny that they have such beautiful elements, such good skating skills, and then just oddly sort of sat down just in a nothing element. We'll take a look at that at the end. Not a big deal at all. Doesn't really play into. It's a little bit. They're certainly going to lose some points, but their overall quality, just superb. You're going to see some great elements here. Many of them are in the plus GOE range. Of course, not the double axle. We'll look at that. Watch this triple twist here. There's the difficult entry. Hands go down to the side. Catches beautifully, quickly on that edge. Beautiful. Now watch the double axles. Her curve just goes way in here on this stepping four. They're different. She's just a little timid on that. She doesn't accelerate off that edge because it's not an easy jump for her. She just pulls back a little bit, changes the direction. Didn't make, didn't work. Here's the triple loop. Oh, that's, pardon me. Huge. Just huge. Look at the speed on the landing there. Beautiful. And this... I wanted to play this back because the unison was just excellent. Even when they're changing positions, they're so close. Quite often you see the teams far apart, not here. Nice unison all the way. Here's the group five reversal. She's got the leg up. Now he's got to grab that hand. She goes in backwards. There's the change of hold right there. Now the change of position. That's in at level four with a plus 1.10. So a nice healthy bonus for the quality of that lift covering the ice and then whoa right there he just was hopping forward and caught his picks as he was changing from backwards to forwards just a subtly, subtly little thing but not a big deal and no big reaction at the end so well done hey beautiful bear that's great We'll take a look at the short program. Scores 60.26. That puts Stanislava and Alexei currently in the third place. Another Russian team on the podium. New here in the Bears. And there's a look at the standings so far. Senya and Valerie, 67.62. Diana and Ilya, 63.04. And Stanislava and Lexi, 60.26. Your top three so far. Russia owns the podium at this point in the competition. Three more teams yet to skate. And as we go to the ice resurfacing break, we're going to take you back in time to 2017 in Minsk. For a young pair team. And it's now senior and how good were they as junior. Take a look, enjoy. Sobat. Stasia 16, Dmitry 19. First junior Grand Prix season together. Skating to Gabriel's realm.
Anastasia Polyanova and Dmitry Sopat, Russia. Russia. Take a look at some of the elements for Anastasia Dimitri. Triple twist. Currently in at level two. Here's the throw watch. Her absorb this huge throw in her knees. Maybe a touchdown with the foot there. Forward inside death spiral. Level four. Plus GOE. Look how nice and low he is in the pivot. Really beautiful position. By both. The group of three lift currently in at level four. Nice job, should be pretty good score. Your program for Anastasia and Dimitri, 56.37. They take the lead after two groups.
back to Chelyabinsk, Russia. Beautiful look at the university here. Beautiful monuments as well around the city. Fabulous signage of the Junior Grand Prix here outside the building, the tractor building. And live inside now, the Paris Group 3 coming up in just a few moments. The audience continues to grow throughout the day. We should have a good audience for the men's short program. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue our competition. The following competitors may now take the ice for their warm-up. From Canada, Brooke McIntosh, Brandon Toast. From Russia, Yulia Artemyeva, Mikhail Nazarichev. From the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, Ro Hyun Mi, Han Kung Cho.
Внимание! До завершения разминки осталась одна минута. Ladies and gentlemen, there is one minute left in this warm-up. Разминка завершена. Просим спортсменов покинуть лед. Ladies and gentlemen, your warm-up has ended. Please leave the ice. For the second Junior Ladies Grand Prix season for Brooke McIntosh and Brandon Canada. Tost of Canada. They're coached Brandon by Andrew Tost. Evans and choreographed by Mary Angela Larmer. 50.46, the personal best in the short program that was in Lake Placid this Junior Grand Prix season. For skating to everyone wants to rule the world. Welcome to your life. There's no turning back. Even by we sleep, we will find you acting for your best behavior. Turn your back on Macintosh, Brandon Toast, Canada. 
well, this team just keeps getting better every time out. Still a long way to go with lots of skills to work on, but they're stronger physically. They're more confident, better technical elements. Certainly needs a lot more speed and power, and but there's some great things here. Let's see the triple twist, level two. She comes down a little bit on the shoulder. Here's the double axles. Yeah, nicely done. Brooke had a solid double axle there. There's the toe, triple toe loop right on top. Kind of want to flow out of that. We've seen that in the, some of the Russian teams. They have a more speed coming out on their on their throws. With a beautiful running edge. Just back inside Despiro. That is in at level two. And here's this group five step lift. Beautiful position by Brooke. It turns by Brandon. Keep it moving. There's a change of position. She doesn't get the blade. She gets the boot. But that's a group five, a uh, group four, a uh, group five lifts, pardon me, with a level four difficulty. Not a lot of GOEs either way, either plus or minus. A little bit here, a little bit there, but the elements were well performed for their stage of development, getting better, as I said, every time out. I feel pretty confident they're starting to come together as a team know each other a little bit better, feel more comfortable in competition and deliver their best stuff. Coach Andrew Evans, Kiss and Cry, does doing such a good job with these young skaters, not only in singles, or not only in pairs, of course, but also in singles. Good young coaches for a good future. Let's take a look at the short program scores for Brooke and Brandon. It's 48.40, and that puts Brooke and Brandon currently into fourth place. Nod their head, okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, that was well done. That's their best program so far this season. Overall. Next to skate, representing Russia, Yulia Artemyeva, Mikhail Nazarchev. Yulia, born in Kazan, she's 14, Mikhail 18. First junior Grand Prix season, they're coached by Pavel Sluzarenko, choreographed by Nikolai Morozov. Skating here. Their short program to sends a, a sends a parole performed by Il Devo.
Юлия Артемьева, Михаил Назарычев, Россия. Well, no, whatever way you try to cut it, the reality is, in pairs at least at this point, other disciplines as well, is that the Russians hold the advantage for sure. The basic skating skills and the training of these young teams, it's really extraordinary. Pretty much the same age as the other teams, but you can see the mileage and experience. It's the hours, hundreds, maybe thousands of hours they spend on just basic skating. So when they go to do the elements, there's no worry about the quality of skating, but the safety of the element is just so well trained. Let's take a look at some of the elements. Here's the triple twist. It's the level two. Yeah, just a little bit of an over rotation. She has to touch the shoulder. Here's the double axles. Watch the riding edge here. Glide all the way around. That's just beautiful. That's just quality. You don't see that in many of the other teams. Watch the triple Lutz here, a little bit too far forward, loses speed on the landing. Yeah, that's getting picky. Watch his back inside death spiral. Yeah, leans back, that's nice. That's in at a level four as well with a plus 0.92. So the quality of that element and the difficulty adding up to some really good points. But in this next element, watch the quick hand grab right here. That left hand had to grab very quickly. That's why the group five reverse lift so difficult because she's going in backwards and it's just I hope he's got to grab that hand, and he did. There's the change of position, change of hold. There's one arm, she grabs the blade. These are all features adding up to a higher level of difficulty. And how nice was that? That was a group five reverse lift at level four with a plus 1.70. A lot of points earned in that one element. Beautiful. Всем привет, всем привет. <laughs> well, let's take a look at the short program scores. It should be pretty good here. 67.12, that second for Yulia and Mikhail. And of course, you'll see Russia, 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 Russia. Top four teams, well deserved. No argument there at all. Quality, superb. Potential for a senior. Very deep. Next to skate, representing the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, Ro Hyang Mi, Han Kung Cho. Well, hey, the young 16, Tom Choi, 20, second junior Grand Prix season, first time out this season. 42.35 running that last season in the Junior Grand Prix. They're skating to Swan Lake by Tchaikovsky.
control the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Well, in the practice session a little earlier today, it was just remarkably exquisite, everything they did. They didn't have a strong performance here tonight. Still very good, no, don't get me wrong, it's excellent. But they just couldn't miss anything. It was so beautiful in practice session. They're a handsome team, great posture, great flexibility. That lift came down, that, he did a good job just to hang on to it. But we'll take a look at some of the elements. Here's a triple twist, level three catch and a plus 1.22 for GOE that's nice double axles got that done good and here's the throw triple Lutz a little bit open in the air you can see he doesn't rotate as fast or as smooth on the landing as the Russian teams back inside death spiral this is a level two looked really close but they got it done really about one and a half revolutions in the death barrel position. And here's some of the steps right in front of the judges. What I noticed in practice session was the perfect unison and they were skating so close together. Drifted a little bit apart here in the competition. We don't skate that often in front of a big audience like this. There's a step, look at that, he almost tripped going up. He's got the lift, the change got outside. Yeah, he. Yeah, the turns just did not keep going and the lady got outside his body core and he did everything he could do to keep it up, to keep the lift up, but it had to come down and he did bring it down nice and safely, which is the right thing to do, of course, always for the man to protect the lady. And there's your closing pose right there. When the music started, the audience clapped because it was Tchaikovsky. Not the level we saw this afternoon. Nevertheless, very nice looking team for sure. Well, there was an indication she's maybe not too happy with the partner. Yeah, he was talking about the curve that when he lifted lifted her up, the edge swung around a little bit and he got off balance right from the beginning, got it back, but then lost it again on that lift. This ball, well, let's take a look at the short program scores. 55.36, that's fifth. So far, the competition. Well, let's take a look at the standings at the end of the short program in pairs. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the Junior Bears short program competition. And here's a look, Zenia and Valerie. Oops, lost that first page. But you can go to the ISU.org site to check out the results. The top four teams are from Russia, and then from the People's Republic of Korea. So check it out on isu.org. We're having a couple issues with our final standings coming up. So not to worry, it's all accurate. Check it out on live scoring or on the isu.org. It's up there momentarily. And a look at our schedule for the rest of today. The men's short program takes to the ice at 1900 hours. That would be a great event, don't miss that. And then tomorrow, the ladies short program will take to the ice at 10.15 in the morning. Some great skaters in that category. Paris free program at 14.50. Men's free program tomorrow night at 1700 hours. Then on Saturday, the free dance takes in at 10.45 in the morning. The ladies free program goes at 1400 hours and the medal ceremonies at 18.40.
and a look at the rest of our schedule. We'll move on to Gdansk, Poland, September 19th to 21st. Zagreb, Croatia, September 26th to 28th. And we'll complete the Junior Grand Prix 2019 in Enya, Italy, October 3rd to 5th. But don't forget, the Junior and the Senior Grand Prix Final will take place in Torino, Italy, in December 5th to 8th. That concludes our coverage of the Paris Short Program. We hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you come back for the men's short programming coming up in just a little while. Thank <laughs> you.